News. Maricopa County leaders are focusing new attention tonight on the current mask mandate that requires people to wear face coverings in public. This as new cases of COVID-19 continue to plateau and more businesses reopen. So the question is, should masks continue to be mandatory? Team 12's Josh Sanders hit the streets today to see what you're thinking. I've talked about masks. Dr. Christ has talked about masks. I said I am in favor of masks. That was Governor Doug Ducey back in June imploring Arizonans to mask up as COVID-19 cases were on the rise. The mandatory wearing of face coverings continues to be a hot topic across the country and right here in Arizona. It has to be mandatory. I think uh, voluntary uh, approaches just always have too many cracks and gaps in them. I mean, some people look at it as a matter of respect, which I totally understand, but I still don't feel like it should be mandatory. I think it should be, remain mandatory, especially since there is no cure yet. I think it should be relaxed a little bit. I don't think it's the government's right to tell us whether or not we should wear a mask. Now, as new cases of the virus plateau, the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors and local health officials are discussing if the mandate should remain in place. There is no debate at this point. Masks do help decrease transmission. Former public health director for both Maricopa and Pima counties, Dr. Bob England, says wearing masks has helped lead to the lower numbers we see today. He says defeating the pandemic should be everyone's goal, and wearing a mask is an opportunity to be selfless. And by wearing it, you're displaying that you care about your neighbors. And Maricopa County public health officials advised the board Monday morning that masks work and should stay in place until the county sees a lower positivity rate as of now, the board is not expected to make any changes to that mandate. We're in downtown Phoenix. Josh Sanders, 12 News. All right, Josh, thanks.